Hello everyone, this is your host Zainul Hassan and in today's video, we will take a look at how you can add animated customizable tab bar in your apps. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here is a preview of what we are going to create. You can see that the selected item shows its icon, everything is animated smoothly and you can also create it something like this. So you will see how you can do this. So here I have a project in which I have imported the extension bottom bar and next in order to hold the extension in order to hold the tab bar we need a layout. So you can either drag a vertical arrangement or a horizontal arrangement. So let's drag a horizontal arrangement and change the alignment to center. So let's rename this to tab bar container. Let's see how you can create the tab bar. So here first of all when the screen one initializes we need to create the tab bar inside the layout so we will create it inside the tab bar container. Now to add items in your tab bar we will use this block add tab. So before we create tabs we need to make sure that you have all the icons that you need so you can import them one by one. So here I have these four icons and next what we'll do is we will provide in the description right here and first we need to add the icon so this one is going to be home.png and the title is going to be home and you need to specify a unique id so i will say one you can use any number but it needs to be specific so i will repeat the process for the rest of the tabs So this is all the basic stuff that you need to do to create the tab bar. Let's refresh. Okay, so we have something wrong with our icons. So bookmark bar png, home dot png, settings and videos. Okay, so bookmark dot png. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, so we have all the stuff right here. And when you click on it, it animates and the item changes. So uh, one more thing that we will do is we will select a tab by default. So here I will do is provide in the index that I want to select by default. So here I will select the home tab by default and you can also provide in whether we should animate or not. So we won't be animating. So let's refresh. So now you can see that the home tab is selected by default. So let's see how you can add badges to your items. So we have these two blocks set badge and set badge by ID. So you can either use ID or you can use the index. Let's use the index one and you have this block clear badge and clear badge by ID. So you can use either one of them. Okay, so we will use this index blocks. So I will add the badge at the first item which is home. So it can be anything but here we will just enter a number so you can call a do it and you can see that it has added this um, notification right here so it is visible on both text and the icon and you can use this clear block to remove the badge you can also enable or disable a tab uh, by using this block called set enabled by index or by id so let's disable the second item and you can use the same block to enable the item that you want and let's make it disabled right click to it and now the second item is disabled so you can't click on it and you can't navigate to it so you can see that it's disabled so you can do the same thing to enable it just change it to true and now we have everything back to normal so you can also enable or disable stuff you can also use this remove tab to remove a tab from your navigation bar so now we have the basic understanding of how the blocks work. Let's see how you can change the properties. So there are a lot of properties and let's see one by one. Uh, first of all we will take a look at the colors. So you can also change the badge color. Let me add a badge first. And I will add this use this block set badge to add a badge. And let's also add this block inside the screen initialize. 
to see what happens we can also change this badge color let's make it red and as well as the badge text color so let's keep it white you can change the default tab color by changing this tab color you can also change the selected tab color so let's make it teal or something else and now the icons are teal so let's keep it blue okay so you can also change the ripple color so as you can see whenever we click we have this ripple so you can also disable this ripple we can also change the indicator height let's make it 5 and currently it is a square indicator you can make it round let's make it round and now we have this round indicator so if you want to push the indicator from both the sides you can add margin so let's add 8 pixels of margin and now we have this indicator and you can see it is padded from both the sides so uh, you can use this margin you can also change the position to bottom as well and now it appears on the bottom so if you see here uh, we have the icons as the selected items whenever an item is selected the icon is shown you can change this to text so you can do is you can change this tab type to text and now the tab which is selected shows its text instead of the icon so you can do this as well let's keep it to icon so there is a lot of other stuff that you can change you can change font size you can change icon size elevation you can also change the animation duration badge animation duration and uh, the other cool stuff that you can do is this animation so currently we have this um, slide animation you can change it to fade so whenever the new item is selected it will fade in let's keep it slide you can also change this tab animation so currently it slides to whatever item you select we can also make it fade okay so whenever the new item is selected the previous item fades out so you can select the slide animation again you can use a custom typeface by going to this property and changing the typeface so i have imported a custom font right here inside the assets panel you can see i have poppins medium and you can see that the font changes so this is how you can add custom animated tab bar inside your apps very easily as you can see that we didn't require a lot of blogs so that is it for this video if you found it useful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video till then thanks for watching